It's the Second Sight Psychic Detective Agency. We know who you are and what you want. So, at the sound of the beep, hang up. You get anything? No. Wills! How can I make you understand how counterproductive it is to disturb him? He's been slowing way the hell down. What is wrong with him? Nothing's wrong. He's just not a machine you turn on and off. He's a finely tuned human instrument. Great. Now I got a psychic oboe in my hands. Believe in magic in a young girl's heart. How the music can free her whenever it starts. And it's magic if the music is grooving. It makes you feel happy like an old time movie. I'll tell you about the magic and it will free your soul. But it's like trying to tell a stranger about rock and roll. place had some kind of expensive art. Now I don't. That's it? Those weirdos are here. Hey, hey Noogie. Lieutenant Manoogie in. Good to see you again. How are you? You guys are starting to get hot. Third big case in six months. What is going on? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bloom, Wills, Second Sight Detective Agency. Your insurance company sent them over. How do you do? That's Dr. Preston Pickett, PhD, and the renowned psychic, Bobby McGee. Is he prepped? Bobby? Yeah. What's in my pocket? Envelope. What's in the envelope? Picture of a sailboat. What's on the sail? A uh, drawing. A crest. What's on the crest? Six little... What's Sophia Loren's phone number? Oh, one, one. Wills. Hold that thought. Bobby. We're ready. Some kind of a joke? Are you aware that the piece that was stolen is priceless? Yes, yes. Bobby will contact Murray. Murray will tell us who stole your piece, where it is. Everybody will be happy. Who is Murray? Bobby's spirit guide. He's dead. Hey, 
Is that Murray? It's too early to tell. What do you want? Huh? Something missing or what? That's Murray. Hey, I'm asking a question over here. Somebody gonna answer me or I'm talking to myself? I demand that this insanity be stopped. Quiet, quiet, please, please. Murray? Yeah? It's Preston Pickett, PhD. Can you locate the thief? I repeat, can you hey, locate the thief? Hey, I heard the you thief? the first time. I'm dead, not deaf. Can I locate the thief? Is this guy talking to me over here or what? Let me tell you something. The thief is in this room. Hey, thief is... No, 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 he's fine, he's fine, please. Hi, Press. She's not pregnant. Go get him, kid. Fritz, you, the thief. Nonsense. Why would I dig a tunnel? I can just take if I want. Fritz, babe, he's never wrong. A gift from the Second Sight Detective Agency. If they ever let you out, I'm going to make you miserable. Well, what else is new? Hey, Bobby, let's find a sculpture for the nice lady. We can collect our money and go home. Bobby. Preston. Hmm? Oh. Bobby. Hi. Wills. Find the sculpture. Bobby, what the hell? What the hell's happening? I don't know. Oh, oh, Bobby Murray, spirit guy, asshole. Shit, Murray, Murray. Found it. some good news and some bad news the bad news our cut from the recovery of the sculpture was a hundred thousand dollars but deducting the deductible for mrs bloom's bust leaves us a grand total of eleven dollars and 35 cents what could the good news possibly be they paid us in cash thanks dave can i freshen up your trough for you bob Last night's gallery adventure must have really taken it out of Bobby. Uh, well, obviously, he's really put it back in. Bobby, are you finished? Yeah. Good. Now, let's go back to the office. I've got some new tests. I, I like try. tests. <laughs> yeah, so do I. So do I. Speaking of tests, Bob, you see the redhead in the booth behind me? Virgo or Libra? Scorpio. Uh, Will, this is for science. Married, single, divorce. Single. She just mm -hmm. got away from a man that was... <laughs> It was a bad, it was a bad relationship. Wills is my right. wife. And, and, and he's put it in the way. She wanted babies. But I don't want that. No, didn't want babies. I'm ready for that. Wills, and so he's gone. What a man, the man, the man. Look, look, look. I've had enough of this. He's not a dating service. I know that. This is improper use of Bobby's gift. Bobby, please, let's go. Don't you want to see if he's right? 
Absolutely not. Please, please. Uh, all right, you guys go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Why did you even answer him? Good morning. I'll bet you breakfast you're a Scorpio. Yeah? <laughs> May I? I was also sitting here now. I've got this feeling in the back of me. And I wanted to let you know that I think you were absolutely right telling that creep to get lost. My God. How did you know that? When the soul is pure, the eyes are windows. Wills. Karen. I know. <laughs> a little more love. I'm stuck. Sweet thing. Any messages? No? Bob? Yeah. I want to uh, talk. talk to Preston in there. Also, I want you to... to stay out here because you want to be alone. And don't tune in on your thoughts because you hate that. Yes. I want the next chapter to be something that won't tax Bobby unduly. Ah, there's a dented car case. A hit and run with no human damage, that's about his speed right now. Yeah, great. And with what we make on it, maybe we'll be able to afford to buy him his afternoon snack. No. Oh, you look very nice. Thank you. What are you doing? I got to block what's going on in there by putting on these dark, ugly colors and these fake materials. You. Wills, it doesn't always have to be about money. Preston, don't talk to me about money with your $6 suits and your degree from Sears, babe. Excuse me, Wills. I tried really hard to block what was going on in here, but that last remark really hurt my friend. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bobby. Wills has been under a lot of pressure recently. A minute on the lips, a lifetime in the heart. So right after this beloved pope is laid to rest, the College of Cardinals will convene to elect the next pontiff. Jack, what are your impressions of the chances of Cardinal O'Hara of Boston? Well, sentiment runs high for the Cardinal. Sources have informed me that the United States may have its first pope ever. The public funeral became even more so with the taking of communion as the cardinals and the dignitaries moved to the steps of the basilica. Catholics in the square below were also invited to participate Impression? in thousands of How do you afford all that new stuff in the kitchen? Hmm? Oh, lucky us. Priscilla, what in a contest. I think I'll make Bobby something to eat. In case he gets hungry in the night. Armand, Wills. Now give me a hundred on the A's and um, fifty on the Dodgers. Yes, Dodgers. That's a pretty good average, Priscilla. You're batting a thousand. I didn't know you were a baseball fan. Why don't you tell me how you're getting tips out of Bobby? I won't tell Preston. I know how upset he gets when he thinks people are misusing the gift. That's why I don't misuse it. It's luck, Wills. Just dumb luck. Shithead. Dodgers or Mets? Soledad. Who is Soledad? Dodgers? He's a Dodger? Mets? He's a Met? Dodgers and Mets? Yes, yes, who? <sighs> Dodgers. 
by big spread. Oh, oh. oh baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh hold me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Bad boy, very, oh, very bad boy. Baby. Oh, you're the best. We gotta get you a woman. Wills, just hear them out. Admittedly, it's a small case, but it's just the kind of thing Bobby can handle now. I think. All right, let him in. I'll listen. Oh, good. Then I'll say no. Come in, please. Maria Soledad, <laughs> Sister Elizabeth. Uh, this is Wills. Hello. Hello. Well, enough of this small talk. What do you want? Oh, Maria, I really think we better. No, no, go. no! Please stay. He has a rough hum sense of humor. Sit down, please, please. Thank you. How can we help you? Well, I am Cardinal O'Hara's executive secretary, and Maria. Did I come on time? Ladies, this is Bobby McGee. Hello. Hi. Hello. Please go on. Well, I work at St. Martin's Church, and well, I am you're the, the little uh, friend with a little pencil <laughs> that you stick. Assistant. Of the uh, man in the red uh, gown with a little. Uh, Cardinal. Uh, yeah. And uh, you are in the wrong clothes. Um, three days uh, before, you are driving down the uh, street, and there's a, there's a loud sharp sound behind you and and then a big uh car comes and smashes into your rear end and the money to uh fix your car is three million dollars three thousand dollars and we have no insurance and you have the most beautiful pink three um three thousand dollars what did i say why can't i get that right Wait a minute, how exactly did he do that? It wouldn't interest you. You'd be surprised what interests me. It's voodoo. It's a rough you. No, actually, Bobby is a power psychic. A what? He reads minds. No, Kreskin reads minds. Bobby combines the talents of a deep trance channeler, an empath, and a psychometrist. Well, that clears that up. Well, as you can see, we're very weird. I'm sure there's a lot of knuckles you could be smashing back at the convent. Do I smell a lapsed Catholic? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I graduated from Our Lady of the Iron Underwear. Really? I stopped wearing iron years ago. Well, has this been fascinating? But I'm sure you ladies have other detective agencies that you'd like to check we out. I certainly do. Maria. I would like to try this one. Oh, I really think that we should think about this. I want him. Maria, please. Well, it's Maria's car, and she seems convinced, so I guess you're it. Your standard fee of 10% is just fine with us. We'll meet you at St. Martin's this afternoon. Is 3 o'clock okay? Good. See you then. Nice meeting you, too, Sister Elizabeth. She needs a man. Maybe a tall man. Wills, for God's sake, she's a nun. Ten percent of three thousand dollars. That's swell. From now on, I decide what cases we take and when we take them. All right, guys? <clears throat> hey, Wills, let me tell you something. You know who's talking now, right? Mary's back. Mary. You know who's talking now? now? Let me tell you something. I want you to hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Because I don't like to be violent. I don't want to be violent. I want to be nice, but you better keep away from that nun, you hear? None of that nun! Back off! Oh. Bobby! Bobby? Yeah? Wheels! Oh. Don't touch me! Just get me to a hospital. I'm hurt. What the hell is he hobbling for? Hmm? Oh, he's having an empathic episode. What does that mean? He shit his pants? Shit his pants? Bobby, no, shit his Bobby, pants. Bobby, stop, stop, stop. Shit. It simply means your back hurts, so his back hurts. Yeah, we'll tell the amazing Randy he's got the wrong side. Well, he's always had tremendous difficulty. With left and right, yeah, I know, I know.
What the hell was Murray doing, huh? What's all that babbling? None of that nun wills. Bobby, you pick up anything weird from her? Bobby, did you read anything unusual? Did you get a new job translating English into English? Do you mind if I just talk to him directly for once? Be my guest. Thank you. Bobby, did you pick up anything weird from her? What does he mean, weird? Bobby, did you read anything negative in her aura? Yeah. She's got some brown spots on top of her heart. Um, she was hurt badly by some raisins. And <laughs> Murray does not like her. And oh, what the hell is he doing? He's reading your fifth to seventh chakra. Very rare. Wills. Wills is going to be opening up his heart to a woman. Huh. Fat chance. My pants, maybe. <laughs> Never my heart. Let's get out of here. We don't want to keep Attila the nun waiting. You should have got the car fixed. Why get it fixed? We're just gonna dump it after the job. We should do another dry run by the church. It'll give you a chance to put a few more dents in the car. This is nuts. He wants us to hold him 10 days and let him go? We can get big bucks for this guy. Get out of my face. Black Queen. Talking about the card. <laughs> Just because you had one bad experience with a woman. <laughs> one bad experience. You call being a cop who gets the most dangerous assignments in town just so the chief can boff his wife. One bad experience. Move it! Well, Boffed his wife. Boffed his wife. Bobby, shh. You know, Wilson, technically, the chief only tried to get you killed a couple of times. Yeah, mostly he sent you out so that he could lie down on your wife naked. Oh, of course. Well, in that case, I'm not going to be bitter one more minute, Bob. Oh, Wills, that is wonderful. Then her love can flow in and your love can flow out and in and out in and out yo bob until i see you on one date with one female i don't want lectures on in and out from you okay wills that's that's not fair bobby just hasn't integrated the romantic social or sexual side of his nature into his personality at this time hey! wills you're um Blood pressure is way up. Oh, do tell. And your sperm count is way down. Way down. Uh. Bobby, mm? stop that. Huh? Preston, make him stop that. Bobby? Yeah. Stop that. Okay. Afternoon. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Thank you so much for helping me. You are late. I brought a note from my mother. Cardinal O'Hara, this is Mr. Wills. Cardinal, how do you do? Dr. Pickett. Eminence. Oh. <laughs> and Bobby McGee. Oh, yes. Sister Elizabeth has told me all about you. I see you with a doctor. As a matter of fact, I have an appointment for a checkup. Don't be worried. It's only hemorrhoids. Mr. Wills. Preston. Bobby. What did I say? I appreciate the good news. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Preston, stop it! Oh, no, don't stop it! Don't stop it! Stay back! Please, Father, stay back! Everybody, please! The Cardinal is perfectly safe. Bobby is covering him. In a shield of hyperpolarized ions. Very rare. Obviously, he's protecting you, Your Eminence, because you must be in danger. What kind of danger? I don't know. Bobby, what kind of danger? Apparently, it's some sort of generic danger. Press and give him some candy. Hmm? Candy! Bobby, chew, 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 chew. Well, this is slightly embarrassing. Chew. Oh. Bobby, let us 
Pretty windows. Thank you. Thank you. Although this world can be a dangerous place, I am sure the good Lord will see fit to protect me. Good day, my friends. That young man should be on a leash. <laughs> his 12 throne bearers, the men who had served him during his 15-year reign. The smoke of incense rose oh. smoke. Oh! Well, I had a bad. When? July 4th, 1910. Hmm. Oh, uh, here. Balky! 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 No balls a strike. Look out to the Seattle Wait. left fielder, Phil Bradley. Right. 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 Gets no. a little piece of the ball oh, no, no, and a lot no, of getting no, no. on the foul tip, but it's 0-2. <laughs> Oh, and even more so with the taking of communion as the cardinals and the dignitaries moved to the steps of the basilica. Catholics in the square below were also... By the way he's going, you play for a run now. The non-Italian could understand. He Dude, maybe it's good. In English and several... Pressure off your... But in the end, no... Like well, the the public funeral... <laughs> ...help invited to participate in... Sure. Uh -huh. the ...celebration which he... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, Wills, stop that. Stop that right now. Let him go. Let him go. It's been a horrible day. It's pretty... It's okay, it's me. Bobby, it's okay. Bobby, Bobby, listen, listen to me, Bobby. I want you to go upstairs, really clean your electromagnetic field, okay? And get some sleep. Go. <laughs> it's definitely under for 100. Right. Give me 50 straight across on the Mariners and the Yanks. Okay. You were saying? Oh, I said my initial results are very disturbing. I've done a graph. Sorry. I've done a, a graph of Bobby's recent interface times. It isn't good. So, what the hell does this mean? Well, it seems that Bobby can't contact Murray. And what the hell does that mean? It means that I simply can't predict Bobby's performance level. Murray is appearing unannounced, as it were, and he seems to be in a foul mood. But what's really scaring me is that if we keep pushing Bobby, there's no telling what might happen. He could blow a fuse, go up in flames, trance himself into the ozone. Yes. I can live with that. But look, if he's going to fritz out before he does it, why don't we get value for our dollar, let him give me one tip and make me unbelievably wealthy? What do you say? Absolutely not. Using the gift to make a dishonest quick buck? <clears throat> oh, sir. Um, hmm. Um. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Eight. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Tomorrow's numbers. Fifteen. Twenty. What's happening here? I came in to get the lottery numbers from him. That's how we've been winning all those things. I get tips when he's sleeping. Don't look at me like that. It's a disease. I need help. Oh, God, Preston. I'm a psychoholic. Why didn't you come to me? I would have helped you. I feel so ashamed. All right, all right. We'll work this out somehow. Don't touch him. Now don't touch him, Bobby. Bobby, I told you, you touch me when I'm sleeping, I pull a gun. Am I in bed? <laughs> Murray is talking to Bobby. Murray says that the men who hurt Murray's car are moving and 
that if we go right now, then we'll, we'll, we'll run, run into them. them. We'll run into them. Let's pick up the penguin and get this two-bit case over with. Suck that! Nice penguin boy! You know what? I'm trying here, all right? Bobby. Yeah? I need a direction. Straight ahead, babe. I can't go straight ahead, babe. There's a building right there. Good point. You know, when you're right, you're right. Left or right? Right. Wait, but that's your left right or your right right? Oh, shoot. You got me. I, um, let me see. Now I'm, I'm uh... Preston, I'm, why the hell can't I get, can get that straight? Why can't I get that straight? Oh, well, a psychic uses both hemispheres of his brain simultaneously. I don't care about that. I've got a building in front of me. Point, for Pete's sake. Point, for Pete's sake. Thank you. Very interesting. This is the place. You sure this is it? This is it. So what do we do? Well, can't just sit around. I'm going to check it out. No, uh, Will. Bobby, I'm all right. Press and watch him. Well, you certainly are accident prone. Thank you. What? Um, I told you that, that we were going to run into them. No, Bobby, they ran into me. Well, this has been a perfect ending to a perfect evening. I'm going to go get some pot stickers. Bobby, would you think these oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just asking Oh, shut up. Godi Lotan. Godi Yoyego. Hop, hop, on. Ta Jongi Ne Munga. Go Yoyego. Ho, you Gailan. Go Yoyego. Chang Pe Ngao Yok. Uh, yo. What did you just do? I'm ordering for us. You want the orange flavored beef. Don't do that. I'd like to see a menu, please. <laughs> I'll have the orange flavored beef, please. I'm going there. What's up, Bob? Don't go anywhere. Don't stand up. Just eating my beef, babe. So tell me about this spirit guide. Murray? His name is Murray? Yeah. He, um, he helps me so that he can be free. His name is Murray? Well, why? Isn't he free? What's his problem? Women. Could you be a little bit more specific? One killed him. Very tragic. And he continues to blame her. Well, he simply can't go on to higher levels while hanging on to resentments from the earthly plane. Well, this woman, she murdered him, right? Mm -hmm. Shut him out for ice cream. He was creamed by a truck. I have to go. Top, Top of the, the stairs, stairs first left. left. No, I have to go home. What? Yes, well, early mass. Oh, OK, I'll take it. No, that's fine. Thank I'll you. give you a ride. Uh, all right, thank you. Where do you think you're going, huh? You leaving without saying goodbye? 
Not so much as a hello for an old friend. Laurie, is that you? No, it's Aunt B. Who the hell you think it is? Wait a minute. You were his girlfriend? But you were a nun. Oh, I wasn't born a nun, bozo! Marie, listen, I can explain, really. Oh, yeah? Explain how much you need a pint of rum raisin ice cream. And you, you stupid long drink of water. What do you think you're doing? You don't listen too good, do you? I told you none of that nun. I told you, don't make me go crazy. I said, don't make me do something I don't want to do. I told you I don't like to be violent. I don't want to be violent. I want to be nice! <laughs> Preston, now would be a good time for goobers, I think. Hmm? Goobers! Oh. I'm out. My man Bobby over here tried to tell you. He says, Wills, don't go nowhere. Don't stand up. Bobby. But you don't Murray. listen. You're too busy packing your beef. Just. Don't you ever swallow? Calm down. Wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Do you have any goobers? Oh, they talk about a guy, ma. No, like no, 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 goobers, goobers, chocolate-covered peanuts, very small. It's the only thing that can calm down a psychic when his dendrites are firing and synapsing. Ah, goobers, goobers, goobers. Oh. All right, listen, if you want to deal with me, put her down. No, I can't. I got to hold on. Please. I'm holding on to resentment from the earthly plane. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Okay, darling. You want ice cream? You want ice cream? You got it. Ah! Rum raisin? Pistachio. Bobby, take your hands off of those, please. Preston! Preston? Preston! Excuse me, um, is this usual? Yes! He's reading your psychic hotspot. I had no idea nuns could feel like that. And about wills. That can't be possible. And he's thinking about you right now. But how can that be? I'm a nun. But it's so obvious. I'm ashamed I didn't see it before. What? Murray is dysfunctional due to a deeply rooted Cut emotion. Cut to the chase, Preston. He's jealous. He is simply jealous. So if you could resolve your problems with Murray, I'm sure it'll help us. How do I do that? Well, the only way I know is through Bobby. You want to talk to Murray? Yes. And you want to tell him you know how he feels? Yes. You want to take everything, lay it on the table, and get it away forever and ever? Exactly! Well, you can't. Why not? I don't know. Bobby! <sighs> now, Bobby. Small oh, baby! He's in there, isn't he? Yeah, don't He's don't touch there. me again. Murray, don't talk to, don't. Murray, this is Kate, and I want to know what you're trying to pull. If you're trying to make me feel guilty, Murray, you've already done that. So guilty that I ended up in a convent. He says, beats be being dead. Okay. Yes. I asked him to go get ice cream, but I didn't force you out. I didn't pick you up and make you go. What do you mean you didn't make me go? Uh, you didn't make me go? You were nagging me for two hours. Every time I try to touch you, you push me away. I tell him you're all outside. Kate, just let me say. Just let me say. Murray, it's over. David, David. This is so interesting. We have a life and death situation whose outcome hinges on resolving a romantic triangle between a nun, a detective, and a dead guy. Murray, I never hit in the kitchen when you were alive. Well, I think it's interesting. Now, why can't you forgive me for fucking you? First you got me killed, and now you're dumping me. I'm not dumping you. Marie, you're dead, honey. Excuse me, Maria. It's vital that you drive the exact route so that Bobby can reconstruct the accident. Go on, please. So we turned out of the church parking lot, and we're driving down Wilson Street, and suddenly we heard the screeching sound behind us. Preston, it looks like he's getting something. 
Uh, is there some special way we can ask him what he's feeling? Yes. Bobby, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? What is this? Quiet, he's channeling. Bobby, this is why you're an asshole. Oh. He's out of body. Oh, crowd me now. He's become one of the men who hit your car. We've got to get him grounded. What are you looking at? Hey, Jesus. No offense. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yo, mama. You're fine. Okay? Oh, Bob. Don't crowd me now. Bobby, why don't you get back in the car? I can take that shit and stick it. No, that's right. Come Just on, get mama. back in the car. Keep him right. out of the front seat. <laughs> don't let you find the wheel. Oh, no, yeah, the real man. Marie's going to keep that Bobby. <laughs> Now. Bobby, Bobby, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, mama. Stop it. <laughs> Rest in <laughs> any assistance <laughs> for being appreciated. <laughs> the dendrites are firing and synapsing, and it's flooding his brain with information. The only thing that will bring him down is his boobers. Well, why don't you give him a couple? Yeah. If he stays, it'll take more than a couple. Rest in. Huh? Oh. <laughs> There are no more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, that was a goober you dropped. <laughs> Preston, don't tell me you dropped it. so brave to save me from those men. No. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm not moving another step. This bridge is now officially my home. 
Wheels. What? Let me just no, do one Bobby, thing. Just Let me don't. just do one Bobby, thing. I know how to do it. Touch me. He's just trying to help. Okay, but if he hurts me, I'm not going to be happy. That's it, Wills. We can go now. Thank you. I feel much better. Does that make you happy? Yes, Bob. That makes me this happy. Well, this has been one of the more memorable days of my life. I told you we were weird. What are the police doing about the car smashers? Chief, have you got any clue as to who could have done this? We're talking teenagers, gang members. Atheists? Folks, I'm on my way to an important meeting, but I can assure you we will leave no stone unturned. Now, some people are saying it's okay because the fish hut is an eyesore anyway. Sorry, but I can't answer the question. Special Agent Allman, FBI. If I were you, I'd forget about your little joy riders and catch up with the big boys. I'm in charge of coordinating the O'Hara case. My friend, if you think you've got something to say to me, just say it. We just got the word down at headquarters. Cardinal O'Hara and Maria Soledad were just kidnapped from St. Martin's. Holy shit. Very. You've been informed, now stay out of it. Kidnapping is a federal offense. We're not staying out of anything. We're going to solve this O'Hara case. You're in charge. I don't care what you do, just do it. Who ate my eggs? Ugh. All right, look. Flipper here yesterday performed the demolition derby on every car in Boston without saying, may I? I didn't mean to. Of course you didn't. If anybody asks, you didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Right. Hello, boys. Hi. Mind if I join you? Sure. OK, I'm going to make this quick. Got some bad news. I didn't do anything. Bobby, Bobby Preston. Bobby, do what? Please, nothing. No, we're fine. I'm talking about the O'Hara case. What O'Hara case? Where the hell have you been? Cardinal O'Hara was kidnapped from the church a couple of hours ago, along with the Maria Soledad. <laughs> we just saw them yesterday. That's why Bobby grabbed the Cardinal. You were right about the danger. You just had the wrong day. Look, all I know is the chief is freaking out because he thinks the feds are going to solve this case before we do. Now, this is a case I thought you might be interested in. You trying to tell me Coolidge okayed me coming in on this? Well, he said do whatever it takes. You just don't want to know. What do you say? He likes it. Don't do that. I like it. I'm not sure Bobby's ready for another Consider big... the case hey. solved. <laughs> this is big. Second Sight Detective Agency rescues future Pope Vatican bestows medals. They might even canonize us. So no screw-ups. Oh, I can't guarantee a glitch-free operation. Mary's not cooperating. And that's really hurting Bobby's ability to harness his power. Well, I advise you to get the reins back on him. This is one major gig. Ow! 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 Oh, 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 Bobby! Bobby, get the lighter! Get the lighter! God damn it! That thing is super hot. Ah. And another thing, I'm not taking him on an important gig like this looking like that. Wills, please, I'm warning you. This constrictive style, these dark colors, will seriously inhibit the flow of psychic energy. We'll get over it, Preston. This is the big time. He's got to look like it. Doesn't he look good? No. He looks fantastic. Burn those. Folks, you want to back up, please? We need you behind the barricade. All right. Behind. Well, step back. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, Bobby. Bob, Preston. I told you, he can't function in these horrible, albeit terribly expensive clothes. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Come on, Bobby. Come on, you bad boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. No comment right now. Mr. McGee seems to be ill. He just had a bad omelet for lunch. Listen, we don't have any comment right now. We've got a major news break for storing any minutes of police. Stick around. Thank you very much. Special Agent Allman, FBI. I want to tell you guys one thing. I don't believe in this psychic bullshit. I won't tolerate it. If you have any legitimate findings, you report directly to me. If you screw up, you're dead meat. You got it?
No, I'm sorry, sir. No, you, you don't understand. Officer, we have nobody here. It's all right, officer. I'll oh, my goodness. Thanks. What are you all doing here? Well, actually, I um, wanted to spend a little more time with you. Well, I don't have any more cars that you could crash, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> no, actually, uh, they've decided to send the big shots in to handle the O'Hara case. Huh. Well, I'm glad. I think. Could we talk to the bishop? Oh, um, yes, of course. Come with me. By the way, that was a very nice thing you did, giving Maria that check for the car. It seemed like the right thing to do. Maybe the next one won't bounce, huh? I assure you, the Boston police will do all they can. And of course, the church will do everything it can to help, but they must be found. That's where we come in. Bishop O'Lynn, this is Private Detective Wills. Mr. Wills, Bishop. Dr. Preston Pickett. PhD. Doctor. And Mr. Bobby McGee. Mr. McGee. Oh. I'm sorry, he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Well, um, if you have any further questions about our beloved Cardinal and our dear Maria, I'm sure Father Dominic will be able to help you. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, stay here, I want you to hear this. He's fine. Father Dominic. So, what happened? Well, the best I can tell, Cardinal O'Hara had just finished the Sunday Mass when the kidnapping occurred. We heard Maria scream, but by the time we got here, it was already too late. Oh! <laughs> Bobby! Bobby! I got him off. Bobby, this isn't good. Yes, it is. Bobby, please put something on. No! Please, Bobby, Bobby, no! Bobby, I'm alive! I'm sorry, Father. Uh -uh. Bobby, I'm alive! He can't be in the church in his underwear. I wouldn't argue that. Then you must find him some light-colored, ruby clothes. I, I think I'll find something. And only natural fibers. Right, yes. Bobby? Have the cardinal shoe, please. <sighs> what are you feeling, Bobby? Red hat. Good. Focus. <sighs> Where do you see the red hat? It's in the... Oh. Gentlemen, I'm sorry to be late, but I want you to know I am personally taking over this case. What's he doing here? Well, Chief, you said do whatever it takes. Look, you promised that you'd keep him away I'm from me. I'm throwing you off this case. You Take a walk. Me off I this fired case. you three years ago. You fired you're me? Today, you said right. I don't want to see Nookie, your face around you here. Promise you promised that you'd keep walk. this little shit I away from me. Thank you. Now, these detectives were hired by the church. And I really think that we would all appreciate it if you two could just put your personal differences aside until we find Maria and the Cardinal. All right. Bobby, can you try the shoe again? Bobby, where did you see the red hat? <laughs> Yo, mama, and you know I wouldn't hurt my sweet thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yo, don't grab me now. That's the man from... My God. The man who hit Maria's car kidnapped the Cardinal. There were cases in the church when the accident happened. What accident? 
What the hell's going on here? I've had about all the stupidity I can take for one day. You find them, or it's your job. Uh, well, that's all we have to say uh, for the moment. What I can tell you, though, is that the second sight detective agency is on the job, and this case is all but solved. Get the car, boys. Uh, Sister Elizabeth. Sister Elizabeth. Uh, would you like to make a statement? Uh, no, uh, Father Dominic will be answering all of your questions. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, what are you doing? I'm sitting in the back of your car. Now, how are we going to find them? We're detectives. We'll detect. Wills, no, no, Bob. Uh, Wills. What? Uh, we have to go look at the, uh, the letter that, uh, give me money or I'll kill you! The ransom note. Yes. Manoogian didn't say anything about a ransom note. Well, it hasn't arrived yet. But what are you talking about? It just arrived. I'm going to kill him. I want to make that clear now. Go, Will. Going. Go! I'm Stop. going! Stop! What? Seatbelts. We don't have seatbelts. Very good point. You know, when he... You sure Coolidge isn't going to come back soon? Yeah, he's over at the mayor's office. He'll be gone for hours. Right. I want to close the door. So tell me, what did the note say? They want one million dollars a week from Wednesday. A week from Wednesday? Who keeps a cardinal for a week and a half? Why is this here? Oh, don't pay any attention to that. It's the chief's pride and joy. He caught it himself. You know, sometimes I think he loves that thing more than anything else in the world. Ugh. She's dead. Yeah, we picked it up for ourselves, Bob. Bobby, if you need the little boys' room, then go find the little boys' room. I don't need the little boys' room. Then why are you doing the pee-pee dance? I'm not doing the pee-pee dance. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. It looks like you're doing the pee-pee dance, Bobby. Oh, wait a minute. Bobby is having an empathic episode. It's Chief Coolidge who's doing the pee-pee dance. Oh, well, Chief sure drinks a lot. Could you just get him under control, Preston? Oh, yes. Bobby? <laughs> Bobby? Yes. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Bob? Yeah. Oh, oh, you want the uh, note. It's in the middle uh, drawer. Yes. Here, Bob, look, there's blood on it. Can you tell whose it is? Oh, oh, it's, it's Maria. Yeah? Oh, Can you see where they are? Can you feel? No, I don't see anything. Bob, I don't see right, anything. Right, stop. I've got to get him out of here. We can't function when he's emotionally involved. No. Listen, Preston, we need this information. Look. You keep pushing, something might happen to Bobby, but I won't permit. <laughs> hey, Kate, how you doing? <laughs> Sister? Sister Elizabeth? Yes. Could you help Preston with Bob? Yes, uh, of course. <sighs> hmm. You know something, Noogie? No, what? Let me see if I can get anything from this note. What do you mean? Well, you know, Bobby didn't have the gift until he was struck by lightning. I hurt my back recently. Hala mala kala pala. Hala kala mala hala. Abi kala tala. Hare kala pala kala mare. Hala. Talk to the fish. The fish? The fish. The fish. The fish. The fish. We'll talk. Fish. 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 Go ahead. Talk to the fish. 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 Hey, Will, you fish. can talk to the fish, but fish. be careful of it, okay? Fish. Will. Fish. Fish, lead us. Come on, Will. Put that down. <laughs> fish. Will, fun fish. is fun, but... Will, lead us. Fish. Will, tell us. The no. fish. Will, what the... Fish didn't know shit. This is fun. I haven't talked kidnapping with anyone in years. <laughs> Remember the time I kidnapped that pick woman? <laughs> yeah. Nice little devil. That was a weird one. <laughs> you still married to her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Well, listen, Brian, it's a lot of fun reminiscing like this, but I got a time pressure thing here. So, um, what do you make of this cardinal business? Something doesn't smell just right. What do you mean? There are only three legitimate reasons for a kidnapping. You got your money, you got your sex, you got your politics. A million bucks, a lot of money. Small change. I kidnap a cardinal, I ask at least three million. A guy who could be pope, five. Yeah. Brian, these guys aren't too smart. Two-bit punks can't pull off an operation like this. Somebody else set this up. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we can rule on sex. So at least it's politics. Politics. What kind of politics? Nogi Wills. Nah. You get anything on that car yet? Oh, good, good. What is it? Uh-huh. A24 ULA. Great. Yeah, listen, I've been doing some snooping. The Cardinal doesn't think Bishop Olin is fit to be the pastor of a kennel. He's been trying to bump him out of the archdiocese for years. In other words, Bishop Olin would not like to see the Cardinal become Pope. Right. Okay. I'll be in touch. Mr. Wills. Hi. That's good news? I'm afraid there's nothing yet, Father. Uh, um... Dominic. Dominic, yes. I was told at St. Martin's that I'd be able to find Bishop Olin here. He's playing golf. It's quite a um, swing you have there, Bishop. Mr. Wills, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you. Have you any news? You haven't found them yet, have you? Not yet, but we're getting uh, very, very close. <sighs> Don't let me disturb you, please. Go right ahead. Just something occurred to me, and I wanted to run it by you. Do you know of anybody who might not want the Cardinal to become Pope? I don't know what you mean. Well, I mean, do you know of any enemies he might have? I know you two go way back, all the way to seminary, as I recall. As a matter of fact, you were both up for Cardinal at the same time. I'd like to think that people of the Church can transcend that kind of individual pettiness and jealousy. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, mind if I give it a little hack myself there? No, please. Thank you. Now, I couldn't help but notice it coming in. This is uh, quite a place you've got here. Oh, it isn't mine. It belongs to Cardinal O'Hara. Uh-huh. Well, it must be nice, though, to have the, uh, the use of it while he's uh, away. Yes. Something else I was curious about. If, God forbid, the Cardinal should uh, not make it back, who would uh, be his uh, successor? I mean, I know there's a tradition in this archdiocese to sort of promote from within. Well, I guess it would be me. But the final decision is left up to the pontiff. Yes. Of course. Well, I won't disturb you any further. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Little tip. Keep your head up and uh, down. Okay, boys, here's the plan. I'm going to drop you both off at Davy's Diner. Wills, um, I feel that we should be together. Bob, just listen. Preston, I want you to call Noogie. You tell him Bishop Olin is as guilty as hell, but not to pick him up until the Cardinal and Maria are safe. Wills, I need to be with you. Bob, I love you. Shut up. I've got a line on the caddy that nearly hit me, and when I find it, I bet I find the Cardinal and Maria. Wills, why? I feel that I should be driving. <laughs> Get out of town, Bob. What the hell? Preston, just a minute. Tell me it's post nasal drip. No, he's using psychic sonar. It's very rare. He's obviously looking for something. They're in there. Bobby, it's Sunday. Nobody's in there. Bobby, who's in there? The bad guys. They're, 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 they're saints are the cardinal. I have to get in there. I have to save them. Bobby. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Have I told you yet today how much I hate it when he does this? All right, I'll go get him. Forget it. Nobody's in there. He can't hurt himself. What was that? Uh, probably just the sonar popping a few windows. Oh my God, Preston. Psychics don't have that kind of energy, do they? Preston, get your lord ass over the seat when you get back here. Preston, down. I know I'm not going to like the way this turns out. They weren't in there. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope he's all right. Are we just going to sit here? He said he was going to call. He hasn't called. How long do we have to wait? Be a lot what do you say? He says it's getting too hot. We move. Tonight. Come on, take it. Someone on move moving. Murray says they're moving them again. Where the hell are we taking them? I don't know. Take them to my mom's house in Pittsburgh. Oh, we're going to Pittsburgh? Shut up, Elmore. Jesus. Your brains are leaking out your nose. Shouldn't we have waited for Wills? Well, Murray said that, that we, we should go without Wills. He says that we don't need Wills. Why would, why would he say that? Bobby, are you sure they're going to Pittsburgh? I know what I gotta do. of spontaneous psychic teletransportation. Not at all dangerous, but very rare. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Runnels. As you may have noticed, we've left the airport. There's absolutely nothing to worry about, but we would advise that you remain seated, put your head between your legs, and kiss your ass goodbye. I'm going in. Hmm? Oh. We're not gonna make it! Excuse me. Is everybody oh, all right? Yes, everybody's fine. As soon as we save our friend Wills, you can have your plane back. Thank you. 
coming, Will. We're coming. Bend over, Wills. Bend over. Get up. What the Will? Oh, oh shit. You don't want to attract attention. Sexual overload. Very understandable. Do something! Give me your jacket. Oh, please. Yes. Please. Uh, go. All right, come on, go, go. Let's go. Move, move. Hey, what's your hurry, Wilbur? Yeah. What's the hurry, Wilbur? <laughs> other way, other way, other way. Going somewhere? Drop it! Or somebody dies. Bobby. Bobby, please, we need your help. <laughs> Sister Elizabeth. We're screwed. Watch your language. Wednesday, bingo. Watch your head. You guys go around the side of the alley to the stairs. I'm going to go this way. They got to be up there someplace. You, find a phone. Call Manuki. No, I'm going with you. Would you just do it? Oh. Big one a confession. It's all right, Bobby. It's me. It's Preston. Come on, Bobby. Let's go. Let's go. Bobby, focus. Focus. Bobby, where, not Bobby. Where are you? Where are you? Mike. They must have went upstairs. Oh God! I should have played sports. Come on, Bobby. Bobby, one more. What the hell is taking him so long? Limits. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Watch this. Wait a minute, what do you think you're doing? I'm going in there with her. What? I'll have your ass for this, Manugian. Those psychic dicks come anywhere near me, I swear I'll shoot. Drop it, asshole! Yeah, come on now. Come on. <laughs> Oh my God. 
Catch any good strip shows lately? Look what we found. Bobby! Waste him. No! Holy shit! He stopped the bullet! over, I suppose if the Cardinal is elected Pope, you'll be on your way to Rome. Oh, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on how they respond to my behavior over the last couple of days. Before I leave, I just really want to thank you for saving my life. Oh, that's okay. You were incredible. No, 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 no. You no. were. No. I'll never forget it. How can I ever thank you? Would you sleep with me? Thank you. Oh, you're uh, very welcome. If things were different. Well, you certainly are a difficult man to get in touch with. You managed, didn't you, Preston? You've been moping around the house for weeks now. Preston, I don't want to be here. I want to stay home, watch the ball game. You are long overdue for some socializing, my friend. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Well, I feel like watching the submarine races on the charm. <laughs> How about it, Will? Care to come along? You guys run. Have fun. Oh, oh, come on, Will. Why don't you simply pick up a chick pick and up a, join us? Pick up a babe, babe. I don't want to pick up a babe, Bob. Ooh, how about that blonde? Bobby, what do you think? Scorpio or Libra? Cusp of Taurus and Gemini. Preston. Just a minute, Will. Uh, single or married? Ah, uh, single. What are you doing? Please. Well, this is very interesting. Does she have a boyfriend? Uh, no, not, not since 79. Preston, you're always giving me the stuff about misuse of the gift. What are you... Oh, misuse is misuse. Don't oh, be such a stuffed please. shirt. Bobby. Mm. Oh, this is taking too much time. Miss, what's your sign? Okay, this is not Things are different. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I know this is the last voice you want to hear right now, but I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, I met this entity on the other side. Uh, she's supposed to be originally from Atlantis. I don't know, Atlantis, Atlantic City. What the hell's the difference, right? She's got a nice astral body. <laughs> anyway, uh... Looks like Bobby's kind of shaping up a little different, a little better, and I feel like I'll be spending a lot more time on the other side of the uh, white light, so uh, I just came to say goodbye. After everything you've done to us, that's all you have to say for yourself. Oh, come on. You never had a bad day? Bobby? 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 Get over here now, Bobby. Come on. What are you doing with your small altar? What are you doing with your small altar? 
Oh, what a day, what a day. Yeah, but it's nice. He's got a girl, he's got a girl, he's got a girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How you doing, ladies? Nice halos. Nice, hey, 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 watch where you're flapping those wings. Yo, Wilt, I forgot to mention something. If she ever rolls over in the middle of the night asking for ice cream, just say no. I'll tell you about 